drop it. What's up you guys? Like I said in my thank you video, I am doing Max Payne 3. And um I really enjoyed this game. I really like this game. Um uh, the story, it's it's beautiful. I like this game. It kinda it kinda reminds me of my life in seventh grade. Kinda resembles it a little bit. But without the bullet time and the constant yelling Max Payne when I shoot someone in the face. But, that's a lot of what's about to happen, so, uh, brace yourself. So, um, uh, let's start this thing. I know my current level progress will be overwritten. And I already completed it on easy, so, and either way I was going to do this game again anyways. I just kind of wanted to see how easy or hard it would be on easy, and it took me two days, so, I recommend hard. <laughs> uh, we're not doing free aim. Uh-uh. No. For hard mode. For hard mode. No. For hard mode. Of course I'm going to have hard lock on. Anyways, cutscene. I'm sorry guys. I'm going to shut up right now. This place is great. We're doing fireworks again. I'm just gonna get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Can you fix the camera really fast? My Excited. dog is like about really? to run in my room. I really needed a new start. Well, he's not. Oh, with violence, my friend. I think you're right. I think I am gonna like it here. It certainly. It certainly. Start using that on people. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk.
sneak peek about what's about so to happen. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some red clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? Scotch. I never mix my drinks. Yeah, well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know, something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs. And something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious, like that guy, man. Weekend cop, anti-gang sort of thing. But I can't remember his name. This guy. That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, Tommy talks him. Cock implants. You. Oh, look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co capital do. Tricky Martin look alike. <laughs> it's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Bronco, a local businessman built things, did some charity, had things named after him, won awards, owned things, people. One of the trophies he had won was his wife, Fabiana. She was hot and wanted to be dangerous. Some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit. She'd married well and it was now at leisure to regret her good fortune. They got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along. They mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his cokehead younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. The guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. I love how they added the record scratch in there. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about. 
trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. Oh god. Headshot. There we go. Boom! Headshot! That's all I have? Oh. Right in the eye. You see that, guys? Oh god. My friend! So this is how tough the crowd is. I don't want to see what they're like. That was the boss one. lady. Only this time she wasn't calling for more vodka in her Cosmo. Yeah. She was out on one of the balconies, and I hoped not about to be thrown off. It. Oh, crap. Oh, I'll shoot. And this video is probably going to be about 20 minutes long. Actually, I'll make it about 25. It After editing, it should be a little bit longer, but yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be recording the first two parts of the series. Not, yeah, yeah, just the first first two parts today, and then probably two more parts tomorrow. I thought I shot him in the head. Eh, whatever. Tranquila! Tranquila! Nós cuidamos disso. Nice work! Woo! Can you need a hand? No, you. Who the hell's Rodrigo? I don't know, man. I know exactly where he is. Thanks. Somebody's gotta go find him. I'm guessing that someone is me. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. Uh, where is he? Oh, okay, never mind. Oh gosh. Oh, he's not on that side. Oh, he's not on that side. Okay, we're not playing peekaboo, are we? Are we playing peekaboo? Ooh, headshot. I missed. I missed. Uh. Huh. Come on, ba 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 ba. Once Bronco was out the door, all bets were off. Come on, come on. Get the, get the, mm, get the shotgun. Get the shotgun. There we go. Get the shotgun. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, on what? Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna die on the first mission, which is very unlikely. But hey, you never know. It could always happen. It looked like they were taking him out through the basement. Maybe I still had a shot. Oh, look at me. Look at me just doing that. Look at me. I, I, I look awesome when I do that, though. Rodrigo was too rich a prize for them to throw away. Sure, I'd have to work hard for getting back, but I knew the bad guys would want the boss alive almost as much as I did. Yes, I decided to do this on hard difficulty, guys. Bullets are way overpowered. Actually, in old school, I'm not doing this. The reason why I'm doing this on hard mode is just to prove that I'm not a blithering idiot. Which is obviously what I am. God, no! Frick you, I'm 14. Oh, yes. Did you just see that? Once I open the door, I'd actually have to come up with a plan. 
Why did I just drop a full clip? That was really retarded. But I didn't drop a full clip. No, no. Like I said, I'm gonna die on the first mission. I told you guys, didn't I? I didn't told you. I didn't told you I'm gonna die on the first mission. I just knew it. Alright? Ah! Now they don't start you off with any painkillers. Like, you have to fail multiple times. Oh god, the last guy. I just love slowing that down. It's so fun. I don't think of it. Did I even press that last button? I don't even remember. Alright, time to shoot the tire. Time to shoot the tire. Time to shoot the tire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Rodrigo, I'm here. You've been killed. Why is he flipping out? Dang! Disoriented man. Take it! You're okay. He's not You're even. Okay. Why is he acting like he got shot? On, he was like, oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. He's only had one death. I guess I'll just leave it as it was. I shot, I killed hey, all of those guys. Oh, God. Hey, it's my great friend, De, 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 de Silva. Becker needs to go away, though. He needs to just leave the premises. And I just realized that De Silva and Becker are really short. Shovel of Velocia! <laughs> That's just sounded like gibberish. Did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. Different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home and then I'll, I'll get you home too. Come on. Fabian is only doing that just because. You look at you. Back you can realize that Marcelo. Back in the background, you could realize that Marcelo and Victor were looking like. They were looking like sad or kind of angry that that kind of happened. <laughs> but if you've never seen this game and you're watching my walkthrough, and you've watched me through this video, please watch the whole thing. Okay, he has projectile vomit. Um, but yeah. Uh, and with that, okay. I guess I was ready for bed. <laughs> Bedtime. Sleepless warriors to the pillow zone. A couple of days later, it was back to work, mm -hmm. ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scraps, man. I don't even know what that means. But we're still here. Hey! Thanks to you, Max! I owe you my life. Mm. 
just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Is Fabiana American? I don't know or... what I would do without my sister. Mmm. Spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> You know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Basque? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. Hey, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> Saúl. 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 Yeah, guys. Um, as soon as we get to the gameplay, uh, I don't, last time I checked, good luck was not a word. But yeah. Uh, as soon as I get back to the gameplay, I'll end this first part of the Max Plane walkthrough. And um, yeah, I'll try to get that up in the middle of the week, maybe tomorrow. Uh, uh, usually I edit in there. And like a hoarder in Bleachy Week, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? What kind of freaking handshake was that? I'm sorry. But usually I edit one day, then I upload the next day. Sometimes I edit two videos, but it just depends. Um, I'm probably just going to edit both of them. So. Both parts. And it's really cold in my room, so. Music I feel like they're all up. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the second best. Why can't we sit over there, man? Oh, I love you, but Claudio would be the best. Claudio? Fucking Claudio. He isn't even any good. If he were going to be in Barcelona, Milan, he couldn't make it in Germany. Now he comes back here and like fucking royalty. I'll introduce him. Nah, I need to see that. Just give me a bottle of champagne, eh? This kind of place made me want to puke. I need a drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. <laughs> fucking monkey from a fucking slum. You act cool with me? What's that? Nothing. <sighs> Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, <laughs> Oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Fabio! Fabio! my nigga! Did you just see... Do you see that in the corner? That is so disrespectful. Thank God he left. I made him more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh. Wait, when I first played the game, I... Oh God. Something's about to happen.
time to take action. I realize that time goes slower. Like, it goes, like, way slower when you do it. There we go. Every day. But uh, right here, I'll stop the gameplay, guys. So, hold on, just after this. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. Yeah, but uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace. Subscribe and everything. Watch my videos. So. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, and since you gave me over 20 subscribers now, I am going to be doing walkthroughs now, and I recently bought the game Max Payne, don't ask